Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Abby and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing some imported plants. So just as a disclaimer before we start anything, um, today is the 18th of July. It is the hottest day on record, reaching temperatures of up to 40 degrees. So I'm super hot. I got these plants this morning, um, a couple of hours ago, to be honest. They have been um, just sat inside in the cool place. Um, but I'm really, really keen to get into these. So this box was kindly gifted by Succulent Asia. I don't know if it's Succulent Asia or Succulent Asia. But um, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to pick um, a couple of plants from their collection. And they said they were growers and they wanted to gift them to me really kindly. So I, of course, was so delighted. And it was a little while ago because I went on holiday. Um, so they held off posting anything to me. But this came days. I don't think it took long at all, honestly. They texted me when they said um, they had dispatched them. And I was like, right, okay, they'll come at the end of next week. And it's like the beginning. So they came a lot quicker than I thought. So I've never done an import before. Um, so I'll cover my address, but they've given me like the certificate and everything that you need on the front of the box. So customs can see it. Um, the only import I've done before is from the Netherlands. And at the time we were part of the European Union. So it wasn't anything that I needed to concern myself about with like certificates and stuff but they do that for you which is really good um but yeah this has been in the post for um a much less than a week like i thought i'd be getting this midweek end week and it's like monday so i'm super super excited to open it um and i'll show you the plants that i got so the packaging is like really good um they've obviously put it in um some sort of um almost like a foily protective packaging so obviously the temperature is um regulated in there but i'm not sure how it would have done um in the heat we're getting obviously they would have never have known we would have had such a heat wave and to be honest i've just come back from holiday and it was a lot cooler on holiday albeit it was still in europe but i'm used to having this kind of temperature when i go on holiday it's not nice when you're in England, let's just say that. Um, and I'm sure most people in England will agree with me that it's just not nice. Um, but I shall get into this soon. Okay, so I have cut the top of the box open. Um, my phone ran out of storage, so I've just had to delete some videos. It's literally the story of my life. Um, but there's definitely more than two in here, which is like super exciting and even more generous of them than I thought. And um, so it looks like they wrapped them with um, tissue paper and then um, or toilet roll, kind of like kitchen roll toilet paper, um, and then sellotape. Um, so hopefully this will be a really, really easy thing to get into. Yeah. And I've seen like um, quite a few people that import or export plants, sorry, the suppliers, um, they do um, wrap their plants like this. So I'm not sure if they find it really beneficial. It keeps them like cool, but I mean, it's definitely something you can recycle. So, oh my God, that is so cool. And I actually can't remember what the plants I selected were. Wow, I think this was one of them. I feel like I recognize them all actually. I went through the whole website, but this is one of the plants. Like, I, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I'm really into succulents at the moment, but more unusual and I've never seen anything like that. The top of them, can you see? It's almost like they are like clear on the top. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll put pictures in. That is so cool. And the roots are in such good condition. I love that and I might make a little um, succulent garden with these. Oh, I love that one. Oh my God, it's so cute. This is really fun. I wish um, it was a lot cooler than it is though because I kind of worry about them, but they are succulents, so I should be used to it. These are a lot bigger in a weird shape. 
This is fun. This is very fun. As if this, like, this box has come all the way from Indonesia. I don't know if I've mentioned that, like the place that we're exporting them. It smells so fresh. It's really hard to explain. It smells really good. I remember um, watching an import video that Harley G did and she was like nearly gagging at the smell and I was thinking, oh no, maybe, maybe this will be the same, but it's just kind of like throwing me how fresh it is. Okay, get into the roots now. They look good. I mean, those ones are proper chunky. These ones are thinner. These are more um, what I'd expect in roots rather than like that, those big boys there. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, I love it. And the condition of it is amazing. Can you, I don't know if you can see this. It's definitely gonna be a, um, a video where I'm gonna have to put lots of imagery on, but can you see that? It's so sweet. I love that one. I think this would have to go in a pot on its own, definitely. And I've got loads of cactus potting mix from Grow Tropicals. And yeah, I mean, other than looking dry, the roots look great. I think a good size as well for that. I love it. And there's a new growth point coming in. Yeah. Maybe it was good temperatures to import such plants, but I'm not enjoying the weather, that's for sure. This one's also a bit weird. These are like really weird shaped. It's so fun. Okay, this one's a spiky one. It's come through with the tissue paper. It's toilet roll, it's not tissue paper. I'm just calling it that. If you're on holiday, like everyone's like, oh, the, the UK are, um, UK news outlets and everything are scaremongering people. They're not. I think if you were to be in this weather, you'd normally expect it when you're on holiday and you're by a pool and relaxing, not at work, in a house. Just, it's not my favourite. Okay, so, I'm just undoing this. I always, always, like, always scrutinise things now. Yeah, don't see any creepy crawlies. That's good. <laughs> I always get so worried. Although, obviously, these have gone through checks and everything, I know, and I know you can't help it, but I just get nervous. I love how they wrap this. I mean... It's kind of simple, but genius. Oh. I'm getting that fresh smell again. Strange. Yeah, it, it kind of smells like they've um, been through, like, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, yeah. They seem good to me. And a good root system. For the size, I haven't even shown you this yet. So this, I don't know the names of these. This is another Sansevieria, obviously. Um, I like this one. The difference between these is huge when they're together, but if you had them separately, you wouldn't necessarily know. Um, but this one's definitely like green stripey. It's, it reminds me, it doesn't remind me of a star Sansevieria at all, actually, just the way it's kind of like going out. Don't know how to explain it. But I like that this side of the leaves is like a white yellow and not this side. That's really cool. Pretty. I've got loads of repotting to do. And like I said, I'm really lucky I've already got the soil. Otherwise, I'd be a bit worried how to accommodate for these. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. The next one. I love this. This is so cute. I could have actually used this whole toilet roll for like cleaning spills and stuff. There's so much of it. Although that'd probably be a bit weird. 
Root system's smaller, like a lot smaller for the size of it. But I'm hoping it will be okay. I'm doing that inspection thing again. I mean, the roots are so obviously, I don't know how to explain it, so obviously like visible, you can see that there's nothing there. This is so pretty. Look at that. Look. And can you see like how it's like speckled here and then like stripey? It's a bit flat because obviously it's been in transfer, but that's so pretty. So pretty. Oh. I love that. I love that one. I do like a um a roundup at the end. There's loads. This is the one I chose. This is the one I chose. This is so pretty. Okay. This is definitely the one I chose. There was a really weird looking one as well that I think I chose. I can't remember. It was between that and something else. This is one that I really wanted. Um, and there was the other one that I let my husband choose between. Oh, I can't get into it quick enough. This one looks like so cool. I'm going to unwrap it off screen. And I can show you because it's taking me forever. Oh no, I showed you. <laughs> oh no, such an idiot. I want to keep it a surprise because it's so impressive. Well, you kind of saw a little peek. God, there's so much tissue paper. Well, I have to give it to them. The amount of tissue paper they've used is it's definitely, I've had no damages so far. Obviously, these are a lot more resilient. Like, I'm a lot more comfortable um, having these as imports than, like, a, a, a plant with, like, really soft foliage. This is so weird. This is so weird. They've even, like, wrapped the roots around, like, in a really neat way. Okay. Just going to have a quick check. Da, 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 da. Looks like it was potentially a bit humid in there because it looks like there's a little bit of um, humidity build up. But other than that, it looks fab. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Are you ready? Are you ready? I love this one. <laughs> How nice. That's so pretty. I absolutely love that. Like, it's it's just single like it's just like to me this is weird just having one massive leaf but i love that can you see it's so pretty i absolutely love this one i'm pretty sure that's the one i chose like i'm absolutely certain because it's blown me away as much as the picture which is always what you want isn't it so that is fun and oh my god we've got one Two left. One, two, three, four, five, six. They've sent me seven. How crazy is that? So two left, roughly the same size. I am boiling. You can probably tell I'm going a bit red and I'm a bit hot. But we live on. I'm also on a time limit as well. So I need to scurry on. This is, this is like Christmas. I'm really happy they reached out to me actually because I was like really getting into succulents and then when their email um, dropped in my inbox, I was like, oh, no way. So I actually don't have anything other than like some cacti, lip up, nothing like, um, I've obviously got like your Ikea succulents. Everyone has them, I'm sure. This is so weird. What the hell? Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. Look at that. Wow. That reminds me of the star one. It's definitely dehydrated. You can tell, like, at the um, you see it's like a bit wrinkly. 
And both look at the roots. They're like proper chunky. And then they've got like little secondary ones. That's so pretty. I think this is my second favourite. I think it's like the baby, like the minty green colour. Um, and while I talk about this company, obviously, I put um, some um, B-roll over the screen so you can see what their website's like. I found it super easy to work my way around it because they asked me to go on it myself and stuff rather than can we send you something um so i got to like have a look at their website and everything and it's definitely user friendly there's some places where i've been a bit like i don't understand what the website is saying or you know it's just been a bit confusing because different countries will have obviously different like website designers and sometimes i find them a bit like i can't use this there's one that everyone uses to import on and i've been on it before and i've been like where are the plants like it's just not been easy but these guys were really simple which was super helpful okay last one. Oh, oh, i'm so happy with these it's got a bit stuck let's give it a hand Can you see this? No. Okay, so they've got little roots as well. A big root, a really big root, and then little roots, similar to the last one, similar um, type as well. Okay, cool, let me check. We're all good, we're all good. The, oh my God, look at the edging of it. This does remind me of the Sansevieria star with the, if you saw my, recent um it was a garden center um haul you would have seen i dropped a sansevieria star i didn't drop it it fell out of the thing because it was so damn dry um and it had this really like like wavy edging and i really liked it and i because it kind of fell out and i panicked i just kind of left and scurried on um i didn't go back for it and i wanted it but this is filling that vibe this is really pretty I can hear that my time is up, which is convenient because I'm on my last one. <laughs> I love this. So to round things up, um, I will show you. So we've got this one. Uh, we have this one, which is super cute. A bit more this one and the next one I'll show you a bit more common to what I, a bit more what I would expect to find in this country, you know? Maybe not actually. This one reminds me of something I would have seen. This one doesn't actually. So we've got these, and then we have the really, yeah, this is the other one I selected actually. This is the one my husband said you had to get that. Um, I don't know, I've put pictures on the screen already, but you can't really see how you can see through like the tops of it. It's like clear, it's really strange. So this one, this one, which is super pretty. And then my two favorite, actually no, I think the other weird ones are a favorite, but this one and this one, so happy. I love these. And yeah, so in like to round up as a, um, a review, the roots are really healthy, dry, because they've obviously come from um, Indonesia, um, but super healthy, no signs of any pests, no signs of any, obviously it's, it's gone through all the checks before they send it and they do take a while having to, not a while, they do take their time and make sure they've got all the right certificates and all the checks in place and stuff. So I'm really confident with that because bringing new plants into the home is something I'm really, really conscious about now, um, especially in the last three months, I've just been having battle after battle. Um, but yeah, the roots are really good on all of them, really substantial. There's not one that I'm like, oh, I don't know if it, the smallest root system is this one. Um, but obviously if it's grown that big with that, then, you know, it's obviously okay with that. Um, but yeah, I don't have to do any propping, nothing. Like I don't have to save anything. It's all good. 
Um, so I'm going to hydrate these and then I'm going to, I wanted to maybe make a garden, like a little, um, get a shallow pot and make a little succulent garden. I might do that and I might have this one separate. Um, but I will see and I might film it for you guys because these are so cute and I think they'd look so nice all together. Um, but I will give you a overview of them with pictures and everything and a massive, massive, another thank you to Sansevier Asia for sending me this parcel. It's been such a delight and I'm so, so happy with them. Um, but I will link their email um, and they're best contactable by Instagram, I would say, but I'll drop their contact information below, but also their website because that's how you would initially order through them. Um, but every time I kind of like had conversations back and forth, it's been on Instagram and they've been like really quick in responding. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.